group of special forces are on a mission that is working well until someone they trust betrays them and they get sent to prison for a crime they commit, didn't commit and there's also a smoking hot chick in the movie. There are two movies I could be talking about right now, <clears throat> The Losers. Hey guys, hope that you don't mind that I look like a teenager from the 70s right now, The A-Team. Now like every single person in the world, when I far first thought, saw the teaser for this movie, I thought it just looked stupid. Then the new theatrical trailer came out, and just like every single person in the world, I got really excited for this movie. And it was pretty good. Now this is based on the TV show of the same name. I haven't really seen the show, but, but, but by the looks of it, it looks horrible. I'm definitely not the one to trust on this one, but I think that the fans of the TV show will might be dis disappointed with this movie. Like most fans are. This film is a bit stylish for the TV show. Now people, of course, are comparing this to the losers when they talk about this movie. I like this a lot better than The Losers. The Losers had some cool action scenes, but the humor from Jason Patrick and Chris Evans just wasn't funny and fell flat. The two comic reliefs in this film are actually really funny. That leads me on to the cast. Liam Neeson is great and really laid back as Hannibal. Bradley Cooper is charming and a lot of times funny as face. Jessica Biel, who is my choice for the number one hottest babe on earth, is uh, actually is, is pretty good here. Some people said that they are surprised that she didn't suck, but th she's been really good all her career, and I, I always thought she was a really good actress. Yes, I'm calling you out, Dustin. What are you talking about, man? Former wrestler Quentin Jackson is really into the role of B.A., uh, otherwise known as Bad Attitude, once played by Mr. T. Charlotte Copley is very funny as Murdoch, and Patrick Wilson is pretty good as the villain. Now let's actually review this movie. This film is packed. I mean packed with action. You action lovers will not be disappointed. This action actually goes be, um, beyond so ridiculous it's terrible to so ridiculous it's fun. I don't remember the last time I actually had that experience. The final act was also the best part of this movie, and um, even though it's really stupid, it was really fun and interesting. And like I said, all the leads are very likable. I also like how they put the opening line of the show into the end of this movie. Kind of like setting it up. Now, it does have its fair share of cons. The first fourth wasn't very good. It reminded me a lot of the bad humor in The Losers. So don't give up on this movie when you're first watching it. Also, I already said that this movie gets so ridiculous it's fun, but sometimes it also gets too ridiculous. I'm surprisingly. There's a scene where B.A. was falling off a building with a parachute and then Charlotte Copley comes around with a helicopter and hooks the bottom of the helicopter to the parachute and flies B.A. away. Not to mention a parachute holding up a freaking tank in midair. There is also a tremendous lack of blood which really bothered me. It has those scenes where characters get into accidents that would have killed them but they, but they show no sign of pain that, or that they are hurt at all. Not a scratch on them. Now this movie is far from credible, but it is still fun to the max, and you'll have a really great time if your eyes work well. I'll admit, I got a big headache. Seven and a half out of ten for my own channel, and seven out of ten for the unknown underdogs. Bye.